you said earlier this week that Todd was very receptive to your offer for help. Mm -hmm. Did you worry at all, though, that he might interpret your comments the wrong way, that he might you know, take that as a know, dismissive or anything? I, think, I don't think I was worried that he would take my comments the wrong way. I, I was worried that he would take what everybody was saying and writing and the way everybody you know, uh, made it out to be the wrong way. So you always have to handle those things very quickly. Uh, and privately, and we did, and we move on. You know, like I said, he's been great. Did you talk to him like Sunday or did you Monday? Monday, Monday. yes. Like first thing, yeah. was that you made a point? Uh, I made a point uh, to get to it, you know. I'm not going to say it was first thing. I mean, we got a lot of things to do in the morning, but we had a conversation. Some of Hugh's post-game comments uh, in Tampa Bay uh, in terms of wanting to help the offense, et cetera, did you have any problem with those? Uh, no, not at all. I've been around, uh, you know, a long time, been in this league, around a lot of different personalities. Um, you know, one thing I'll, I'll never be, you know, is reactionary. You know, I've, I'm here for one purpose, and that's to uh, help this offense, continue to grow this offense, continue to develop this offense. Um, uh, we're all on the same page, you know, nothing, uh, nothing has changed. You know, uh, we have a lot of game plan meetings as a staff. Uh, Hugh sits in a lot of those. You know, he's, he's in and out depending upon uh, what he's doing that day and how much he's with the defense. But uh, as I've said a number of times, I don't care where a good idea comes from. Um, you know, no different than one of the assistant coaches. Anybody that has a good idea, we talk about it, see if it fits, see if it works with what uh, you know, things that we do and the, the core things that we've worked on since in the spring and and good ideas go in. Same that Baker delivered yesterday. We just got to keep working hard. We're getting there. We're, no need to change. No need to panic. But that differs from what <laughs> Hugh did Sunday after the game. He felt there was a need of change. Of, of in, uh, so do you chalk that off to just the emotions of a tough loss or yeah, that that's 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 what it sounded like, you know, uh, and we talked about it and uh, and uh, this is an emotional game. I mean, there is uh, uh, it is not for everyone, you know, coaching in the NFL, especially being in that spot is not for everyone. It is a it is a high pressure, high stress job. And, uh, um, you know, we just got to keep doing what we know is right. Just on that, did you um, when, when you were a head coach, did you ever say something after a game that you wanted to you know, take back? I'm sure, I'm sure I've probably said things today I want to take back. <laughs> I say things at home I want to take back really quick. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, I, I, I think that that is something that uh, gets overlooked at times. You know, it, it is a great paying job for all of it. It's the greatest job in the world besides being a player. I tell the players all the time, they got the best job in the world. We got the second best job in the world, but it, it doesn't come without pressure and, and emotion and distractions.